This is Steve Wilson in the XCrafts eJets video tutorial series. In this video, we're going to discuss the load planning utility. Uh, the load planning utility comes in handy when you get to performance page one. Uh, this is where you'll enter your percentage MAC or MAC, uh, which stands for Mean Aerodynamic Cord. Uh, this is, in other words, the point about uh, which the aircraft balances, otherwise known as the center of gravity. Uh, you also enter your payload weight here and your left and right fuel quantities. We arrive at these numbers as a simple simulation. This is just intended as something of a, of a, of a utility so that uh, every time you fly, you're not flying with the same load. You can move it any place on the screen you want. You can resize it, whatever makes you comfortable. Um, let's see. Uh, to the lower right here, bright colors, estimated CG. This is just a visual reference to tell you how you're doing. Uh, the big numbers, of course, are in the center column. You've got your max weight and your current weight, but the most important weight you'll want is your payload weight. Along with that, you'll need your left and right fuel tank quantities. Uh, the weight that's in the forward and aft cargo compartments is not material to performance one, but this is going to give you the ability to rebalance the aircraft in the event that the estimated CG ends up in the red for some reason. Uh, let's see if I can make that happen here. I had all the weight, no. Had a whole bunch of weight, there we go. So now I would want to go ahead and I want to adjust my cargo left and right, uh, in other words, forward or aft, to get the uh, CG to end up where we want it. Obviously, this is a really weird extreme case, but that gives you an idea of how that works. Okay, let's say we have 61 passengers today. So, accounting for the air crew, including the pilot, co-pilot, and two flight attendants, we'll have, well, did I say 61 passengers? We'll have 65 souls on board. We'll move the slider to 65. And uh, that gives you pretty much a full airplane. And let's say we want to put in 8,000 pounds of fuel in each tank. Move the slider to where th we get approximately that indicator. Okay. I'm being a little too finicky here. You get the idea. Uh, let's see. After we add fuel, then we have a little bit left over. We can uh, go ahead and add some cargo in case uh, the airline has a contract to haul mail. Uh, or packages or whatever. Okay, so that gives you your your cargo, your fuel, and your passengers. And we're all good to go there. Our CG is located in the green. I usually like to see a CG a little bit to, to the left of center, in other words, a little bit towards the front of the aircraft, simply because it makes the aircraft fly a little nicer, a little bit more positive dynamic stability, for those of you familiar with the term. Okay, so, so far so good. We have here a completely loaded aircraft. What do we do with it now? Okay, I'm going to move this up here so I can see my weights. And I'm, I'm going to go down to my performance page. Just happen to have it up here. Okay, so let's see. I'm not going to enter CG. I'm going to enter my MAC percentage. My MAC percentage is... 14.28. So, 14.28. There we go. Entry accepted. And let's see, what is our payload weight? Our payload weight is 19,376 pounds. 19,376. Plug that in. Good to go there. And we've got 79.92 in each tank. Do that twice. And one more time. There we go. Good to go. We are loaded up, and we are correctly entered in our performance page. And we are ready to go fly, folks, uh, at least as far as load planning is concerned. I uh, hope this was informative. Hope you enjoyed. And, uh, of course, uh, thanks for dropping by. We'll look forward to seeing you in the next one.